All right, lads, these are my five daily non-negotiables that help me to stay lean and shredded all year round. Number one is to be mindful of everything you eat. Now, I'm not talking about a specific diet plan. By setting yourself specific nutritional restrictions, when you inevitably fall off that diet, you are setting yourself up on a path for long-term failure. You'll lose your motivation. You'll become disinterested. You're going to feel like you're failing. You're not going to want to keep going. It's going to be easier to just quit. No, no, no. What we want to do is educate ourselves on what we are eating. I've educated myself on everything that I consume and I have a little bit of a scale in my mind of foods that you can consume daily, things like lean meat, things like vegetables, things that you should consume rarely like ice cream, like chocolate and things that you should consume in moderation. For example, avocados, which are delicious and healthy, but are high in calories, so we should moderate how often we include them depending on our goals. If we can educate ourselves on macronutrients and how to manipulate those in order to achieve our goals, we're gonna be on a much smoother path to success. But this does involve being realistic. It does involve being strict. There is nothing on the snack aisle that is going to go in anything but the rare category. There's not a food that you can eat daily on there hiding behind something else. If a sex offender opens a sweet shop down at the bottom of your road, going in there is going to cause you nothing but pain in so many ways. Be realistic. Be honest with yourself about what you're eating. If you're determined to hit your goals, you kind of know what you need to do already. Number two is to get more active. Now you'll hear people on the internet throw out figures like 10,000 steps a day, 15,000 steps a day, and that is great. But again, you do not want to set yourself up where life gets in the way one day, you're only able to hit 5,000 steps for two, three days in a row, and suddenly you feel like you're failing, and then you end up just quitting altogether. Instead, what you need to do, what I do, is think about food like gasoline in a car. Now, now you've got your daily calorie allowance. That's the gasoline. Now, obviously, when we're in a calorie deficit, we need to drive around that car all day using as little gasoline as possible. By getting active, we can effectively buy ourselves more gasoline for the day. What that means is that we can maintain a calorie deficit, but maybe we can eat a little something extra and we can offset that by doing some exercise. The extra calories we've consumed and the extra calories we've burned, they don't exist and they don't affect our daily target. This isn't about restricting ourselves or starving ourselves even further. It's about being able to consume a little extra summit summit and then canceling that out through activity. Number three is to eat shit loads of fruit. Eat as much fruit as possible. We've all got a little bit of a sweet tooth. Quick question, hands up. Who likes chocolate? Who likes ice cream? Who likes candy? Of course you do. Who likes a glass of Fanta every night after work? That is because we have all got that sweet tooth, but if we can reprogram our brain and get that sugary fix that we're craving, that glucose fix we're craving through fruit, it's ultimately gonna be a healthier option. Now, we still have to eat fruit in moderation. We can't just be eating banana after banana after banana after banana all day but having an apple late at night is certainly gonna be better than having a chocolate bar. That is why I include a piece of fruit with every major meal throughout the day, just to get that little fix at the end as a kind of dessert type feeling. Number four is going to be drink lots and lots and lots of water. Sometimes I found in my experience, when I'm feeling hungry, when I'm feeling sluggish, fatigued throughout the day, sometimes just having a glass of water can really bring you back. You might be confusing hunger with thirst. Now, if we're in a calorie deficit, of course you're going to feel hungry. That's why you need to keep the rest of your body optimized. You need to keep yourself hydrated. You need to keep yourself energetic. You need to keep yourself refreshed. If you're really struggling to hit your calorie targets, what I would do is I would set specific meal times and then between then I would consume as much water as possible to keep yourself going. And number five. Now, if you want to stay lean and shredded all year round, nutrition, which we've already touched upon, is the key. But training is what's going to keep you focused. The results are what's going to keep you motivated. That is what's going to keep you going. So number five is never, ever skip a workout. I haven't skipped a workout just because I can't be asked in about 15 years. Life happens sometimes. Shit gets in the way. Sometimes it rains. Get to the gym. Sometimes there's a big social event at the weekend go to the gym before it. Schedule your rest days for after a social event. If you know you're gonna have a few drinks and you're gonna have a bit of a headache the next day, that becomes your rest day. Even if you are meant to rest on Saturday, rest on Sunday instead. 
work's getting on top of you, don't just sack the gym off. Oh, I'm too busy for work at the moment. Use gym as your therapy. I have had the most difficult year of my life, no joke, and the gym has been a big part of getting me through it and keeping me focused. Implement new routines that suit you to make sure that you can prioritize yourself and your health. I have been going to the gym at 4 a.m. daily for pretty much the last year because I know that I don't want that to eat into my family time. And I know that the way my schedule is, if I don't go at that time, I'm probably not gonna be able to focus in the gym as much as I want to. Now, 4 a.m. might not be the optimal time to train. That is another topic for another day. But the point is, I have made sure that I've prioritized my health. I've given myself that little daily outlet and that has kept me strong, it's kept me focused, it's kept me going. Focus on yourself. Do not deprioritize your fitness because by doing so, you are de prioritizing yourself and you know who's important you and you know who's telling you that me and you know why because you're watching my video which means i love you because not many people do so click like on the video give yourself a pat on the shoulder subscribe to the channel if you're not already drop a comment down below if it's been helpful good night god bless i love you bye bye